The reason for the travel is to explore the planet, uncover diverse cultures of other people, but most important, discover ourselves. This is Around the Globe. What's going on YouTube? It is us, Team Around the Globe, reporting for duty after a short break from YouTube. Um, we are here now updating you a little bit what is happening with our lives and with this tour. So the thing is, right now most of the countries are very restricted to enter. And the traveling is very difficult because of the COVID virus. So we got a little bit stuck here in south of Brazil, Santa Catarina state, city called Belnario Cambrio. Luckily we live next to the beach, so we can just walk to the beach for five minutes have a nice morning walk to the beach and then walk back for the breakfast. And here in Balneario Cambrio, the beaches are incredible. Looks like everybody always goes to the beach in the morning, takes their shirt off no matter what they look like. Everybody's very confident with themselves and just enjoy this amazing view, amazing weather. So it is June now and it is a winter time here in South Brazil and we were just like comparing this weather to Finland I mean right now it's winter here and this is like the best weather you can possibly have in Finland in the summer and in a few months the winter is going to change into a summer and obviously it will get a lot warmer and apparently I've heard that a lot of people seems to come exact this town uh, during December to February because then it's like uh, the place to be here in Brazil so I don't know if you're gonna be here in December but I mean this place looks like a paradise to us so I really believe that this is the place where a lot of Brazilians comes for vacation Also next to our house we have this amazingly beautiful nature spot where we can take long strolls in the morning or even in the evening because in the evening you can see the city lights amazingly brightening up the sky. So after the morning walk we come home, we have our breakfast, morning coffee and we work on our laptops for a few hours. And then after this, we're going to do some grocery shopping, pharmacy runs, and etc. So I'm gonna finish working with my clients now for a few hours, and then we can get our day started. So the morning traffic doesn't really affect us because we live in the best place possible, and everything, and I mean everything, is in walking distance. We can just walk. In two minutes, we can get supplements, food, gym. Well, that's everything I need, but you're like, well, if I would need something more, I would get it in two minutes just by walking. And now we're going to my, to my friend's supplement store. We don't speak the same language with this guy. He doesn't speak any English, I don't speak Portuguese. But we're still able to communicate somehow, so you'll see, you'll see. Hi, hello, come here. What's up? Come here. So, I need multivitamin, omega, CLA if you have. Uh-huh. And GABA, man. 
Gabba, zie je dat? Ja, dat is ook een heel groot complex. 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 Ja, dat is ook een heel só aí eu tenho aquela que tem o açúcar né aí eu não sei se morango cookies chocolate baunilha banana me diz a tu que tá um par de mamãe com a proteína me dá um dos olhos massa é muito bom ah você vai só lá que é cookies cookies é ok that's the one mais alguma coisa mais alguma coisa o ômega o i o celia o só os dois Basically everything is one third of the price in Finland. By coming to supplements, they're pretty much the same, depending on if it's a Brazilian brand or exported brand. But basically, because I do only American brands, it's a little bit more expensive. But I have the extra trust that they are what they are, because I've heard some Brazilian brands might not be what it says on the label. So I go with the brands I know. Alright, so now we got supplements. We still need to go to my favorite store, which is going to be the Clean Foods. These Clean Foods guys, they have the most amazing meal preparation company. So they prep the foods, ready? So I can just buy these already meals. And they actually even do home delivery, but because I live like Three blocks away, I like to go there, meet the people, talk with them a little bit because here in Brazil people usually just spend some time in the store. Whenever you go to a store, Brazilians really don't appreciate if you're really hectic and fast. Okay, thank you, bye, and leave. You have to stay there, you have to talk to the people like we just did. We had like nice 15, 20 minute chat with the guy, even though we don't have the same language. We just spend the time talk with the people so we try to get ourselves in the Brazilian way of life you know uh, spirulina it's spirulina yeah oh no gaba gaba no it's not okay. it's not okay. no okay. and alteanina metionina alteanina um ah, tianina. no no it's okay. not okay. Okay. Magnésio citrato. Citrato de magnésio. Tem o bisglicinato de magnésio, o magnésio de malato e o cloreto de magnésio. Rápido, rápido magnésio. Ah, é para para queimação do estômago ou, ou como mineral? Como, como, ah, cramps. Ah, cramps. Ah, aí é esse aqui usado. O pH. Sim. Uh, um, alcohol types. Alcohol? Ah, mais quantidade. Mais. Ah, tá. We are definitely picking up some Portuguese. Well, we should have, because we have already been eight months in a country where they speak the language, so we should start learning this. Okay, muito bom, muito bom. Que mais? Um, no mais. No mais? <laughs> Seringa? No. no. Mais alguma coisa? Não mais. Não mais. É mais difícil o speak inglês que speak português. É. Yeah. Ok. Muito obrigado. <laughs> Thank you, Hermoto. Tchau. Tchau. We have to have the same glasses. Oh yeah. Every couple should have the same pair of glasses. Yeah. So, um, I would like to get uh, three more meals of those gourmet ones. Okay. Do you want something? Same. Mandioca con carne. Yes. Same. Same. Yes. How many? Uh, cuatro. Four. Four. Yes. So, how do you pronounce the name? 
Gnocchi. Gnocchi. De batata doce. De batata doce. Con pancino. Con pancino. Yeah. And so this is a, I assume it's meat with potatoes, right? Right. <laughs> um, Gnocchi de batata doce con pancino. <laughs> it's good, right? Good, good, good. good for you. Yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, the macros are amazing. 60 grams of protein, 50, 55 carbohydrates and 3 grams of fat. These are clean, as it says, clean foods. Just take it from the freezer, microwave 6 minutes and it's ready. It's the easiest meal prep I've ever had. So, thank God we're here in Brazil where everything is so easy to do for bodybuilding. Ciao. Ciao. Okay, so the last stop of this trip will be grocery store. Um, in Brazil, they have amazing fruits. I mean, we have fell in love with the fruits they have. They have so many different kinds. We don't even know all of them. And we usually, usually we have one small fruit every evening. So we're gonna go pick up the favorite one we like. Uh, because we ran out yesterday and also I have to buy some cinnamon and stuff like that so we're going to a grocery store now in Portuguese masks are mascaras like for makeup mascara mascara I just call these diapers <laughs> face diapers if you ever happen to come to Brazil Try these out, these are amazing. It's kind of like sneakers without the chocolate part. It's just peanut butter and sugar basically. The best sweet there is. Canela moida. Okay, so this is Asian pear. All right, we're gonna have one of these and then one of those really weird looking. We're gonna try them out today. Do you think this is fresh? Try it. Good to go? I think so. Okay. So my diet coach, Waldemar, um, told me that I have to have a very small glass of red wine tonight. So we are here, I don't know anything about wines really, so I'm just gonna go with this. Looks good. Wine from Argentina. Actually the price is pretty high. Oh fuck it, let's go. Okay. Basically here you can get a bottle of wine for even less than a one euro, one dollar. So. You can get really cheap ones or more expensive ones because in Brazil they produce a lot of wine as well. But because I don't know anything about wines, I'm just gonna have this one. Benjamin from Argentina costs 6 degree ice, which is 8, 9 euros basically. I don't drink for taste, I just have it because I'm told to have one. So. Now, if we take an Uber for, let's say, 10-15 minutes, 35 kilometers, it usually costs less than 2 euros. So, it is, for us, it is basically free to travel anywhere with Uber. So, we're done with the grocery shopping, with the clean foods, with the proteins, and now we have to fix up my face, so we're going to a barber.
Now I look like a human again, huh? Are you excited about Black Day? Always excited. <laughs> So after we're done with our daily chores, we are finally able to do the main thing of the day, which is the leg workout. Today I'm here <clears throat> with my good friend Rod. Uh, Rod is local here and we actually moved here in Belnario Caburil pretty much the same time. Like you came here one week before I did. Yeah. So we just became friends and he's helping me with my workout and he's training with us. And we are very, very fortunate here to train in the mecca of bodybuilding here in Brazil, which is this overall. Am I right? You know better than I do. This is like the best, considered yes. to be the best place to train, right? Yes, this is the best place and people love fitness here. It's the best place in Brazil, the best city to train. Like I told you before, Belmara Campo it's the place to be. So we're going to the mecca. We are going to do extremely heavy blood and guts, heavy intensity training style today, so let's hit it. Mitä kuulo? Mitä kuulo Suomi? Mitä kuulo Suomi? Yeah, it's... <laughs> How are you Finland? <laughs>
That's it, folks. Because of the illness in here, I have to do my butt like this fitness style, back kicking. We just finished our leg workout today. Uh, we did the DYHIT workout, as you all know. And my friend Rod here helped me a lot today. My name is Rodrigo. Right now, I'm living in Balneário Camboriú, Santa Catarina. And I used to live in the US for the last seven years, but I just moved to Brazil again. And I met Timo and Melissa two months ago. And I learned about the DYHIT method. It's amazing. I feel like the training method, it's incredible. I'm already feeling the difference in my physique. So if you want to experience a different training method, this is the way to go. I'm a trainer since 2010. And when I moved to the US, I had the opportunity to meet a lot of different coaches and learn a lot of different methods. But DYHIT, again, is the way to go. It's amazing, it's incredible, guys. So it's hard training, it's heavy, and you really have to push yourself when you train like this, you know? It's yeah. quality or quantity. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's a heavy method. I, I personally fell in love with this one as well when I was training with Dorian, and... Well, I have to be honest, it might not suit... It's not suitable for everyone, but most of the people who like to train hard, it's just an idiot-proof method, I would say that. Yeah. So I used to do like a training with a lot of volume, you know, and I learned DYHIT method with Timo, and it feels like you do one, two sets to warm up, and then the next set, it's like until the end, you know. So I think it's much better. It's a, it's a quick workout, but efficient and so much heavier and intense. So you guys should try. And now we're ready from the gym. I really don't feel like talking because my blood sugar is low. So we're heading to home to have our post-workout meal, have a little rest before the night time. Uh, thanks, Rod. Thanks for the workout today. Thank you. And we'll probably see you tomorrow or day after tomorrow. Yeah? Yes. All right. Thank you. Thank you. One good thing about Balneário Camboriú is the fact that here is the lowest crime rate in overall in Brazil. So we can feel a lot safer here. Uh, we can film openly. We are not afraid that somebody will grab your camera and run away with it. So it, it is very safe, very calm. And overall, it seems like people are very happy here. I mean, it is nice. We walk to the streets and everybody's saying, hello, good day, good morning. And I mean, you don't see that many homeless people. You don't see, we, we haven't really witnessed any sin. Here, you know, it's kind of like a sin-free city. I mean, there's no hookers or drugs on the streets that much. Uh, I mean, it's just um, it's a nice place. Uh, we haven't seen any sadness, you know. Maybe one or two, three homeless guys living in the streets, but that's it. It's complete opposite of Rio, because when we were in Rio, we always had to look over our shoulders a little bit and you know what's going on what's happening you know who is this guy all right you know but here we feel safe we feel happy and we are not afraid that someone will steal our shit you know so we really really are fond of this place and lean ground beef i added a little bit of um, tomato sauce and salt because they are in my diet as well and 
I don't know how it looks to the camera, but this is actually delicious. And like I said before, it's the easiest, the easiest meal prep there is. Straight from freezer, six minutes in the microwave. And it's The last thing of the day, usually we just watch some Netflix and take time for ourselves. Thank you guys for watching this episode and I'll catch you guys on the flip side. But I would say Mitakulo, Finland, right or no? Same. Why Swami? Swami is Finland. Ah, gotcha. Yeah, Finland is in English. Mitakulo, Swami. <laughs> Sounds good? Yeah. Very good. You, you spell it very nicely. Yeah.